Okay, mga kapatid, ako po ay nagagalak na makapagbigay sa inyo ng mensahe kasi inimbita ako ng estudyante ko na inyong uh, pastor ngayon. Hindi ako makatanggi kasi maliban dyan is anniversary. So, gusto kong batiin kayo ng congratulations. Praise ko is the church's 19 anniversary. At ang napili nyo na team ay Tibayan 19, pagpalakasan para sa Panginoon. Napakagandang team ito para sa 19th anniversary. At sa 19 years na kayo ay naging church, medyo may tanong ako sa inyo. Ano ba ang kaulugan ng church anniversary? Ito ba ay patlak? Ito ba ay pagbubunyi o ito ba ay uh, para tayo ay magkatipon-tipon lahat? Church anniversary is very important not only for God but for a local church. Kaya magtanong ako, What is the meaning of anniversary celebration? Ilang bisis na ako tinanong, inimbita sa mga church anniversary. Pero ito ang gusto kong sasabihin na may bahagi ko sa inyo. Anniversary means celebration of thanksgiving, praise and glory to what God has done to local church and its members. Celebration becomes meaningful when church members recognize that God and its member claims, I love you, Lord, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Psalms 18 verses 1 and 2. That is a celebration. Pag ang mga kapatid, ang bayan ng Panginoon sa church na ito, sa Prisco, at inaangkin natin at diniklara natin sa harap ng ating Panginoon, Lord, kayo ay aming iniwibig, kayo ang aming lakas, ikaw ang aming bato, ikaw ang aming tagapagligtas, ikaw ang aming lakas, sa kayo kami nananalig, ikaw ang tagabantay sa amin, kayo ang aming kaligtasan, kayo ang aming uh, tagapagtanggol. We can celebrate because ano ang nagawa ng Panginoon sa dumaan na labing dalawang buwan? What God has done in your church for the last 12 months, you need to recognize, you need to look at it, you need to refresh it because when you do not know how God helped you the past year, you we are celebrating emptiness. Presco is the 19th anniversary. May mga question ako sa inyong mga membro. You must answer. Una, why Prisco is the church exist? Anong dahilan na nandito kayo? The local church does not exist because of us. God allow it to exist. Pinaintulutan niya ng Panginoon. Panukala ng Panginoon na kayo ay nandyan kasi may mission siyang ipagawa sa inyo. May auto siya na dapat nating gawin. Pangalawang question, saan kayo galing? Year one, sino ba ang mga pioneers? Sino ang nagtayo? Sino ang nagtatag? Sino ang unang mga membro? Ano ang kanilang iniwan na heritage para sa inyo at ang kanyong mga bagong tubo ng mga kabataan. At ang tanong na pangatlo, 
what we have done for the Lord in the past years. Ano bang nagawa natin? Ano bang nakontribute natin? Itong anniversary message is virtual. Kaya kailangan natin ang tanong, sagutin ng ma, talagang yung galing sa ating puso. Where are we now? After 19 years, do we maintain as maintenance status in our church? Are we growing? Tayo ba ay lumalago ng ating panampalataya? O te, dito lang tayo nakasamba araw ng Sabat, Merkulis, Friday. If we serve the Lord with a maintenance mentality, we have nothing to celebrate. But if, kung ang ating panampalataya ay buhay, ang ating panampalataya ay palaging humihimok para sundin ang plano ng Panginoon para maibahagi natin ang kanyang mission sa ating kapwa. Where are we now? May plano ba tayo? Where are we going? Saan tayo patungo? Itong time of pandemic, ano bang ba plano natin? Kahit hindi tayo nakadalo sa church building natin, ano bang ba plano ng mga leader, mga membro para may patuloy? O dito lang tayo sa maintenance. The honest answers to these questions are reality of our spiritual condition of the church in fulfilling the Lord's work He assigned to His local church in the past year. It is looking back and looking in the future what God can accomplish through its member. That is anniversary. Looking back what happened and looking to the future what is going to happen because the Lord is guiding this church. But if we live and serve for maintenance, we forfeit the reason why we exist. Kasi ako'y naniwala ayon sa Biblia, ang malakas, matatag na iglesia ay yung iglesia na palaging namumunga at palaging mayroong revival ang reformation na tama. Kasi alam ng Diyos, sabi niya ni Jesus sa John 15, ang sanga na walang bunga ay puputulin. God expects us to grow, to have fruits. It's not maintenance. Kailangan natin, mga kapatid, walang matibay na panampalataya sa Diyos kung walang tunay na mga bagay na ito na musunod ay wala. Celebrating 19 years, your church needs revival and reformation, but revival should start in God's Word and looking to God's character. We have five years revival and reformation. Ang tanong, with all those five years, kinkinium, that's the theme of our union. That's the theme of the world. Why is it? Bakit? Palagi lang yun ang theme. Ilang beses ako inimbital dito sa EUP. Pastor, dito ka sa Mindoro, magsalita. Anong topic? Revival and reformation. Pastor, dito ka sa amin, sa Batangas, magsalita ka. Anong topic? Revival and reformation. Paano yan ma-revive? Punta ako sa church, sinabihan ako, Pastor, ang sermon mo, 11.45 tapos na tayo, Pastor. What? Revival and reformation? Tapos, alas 11.30 na, hindi pa ako nakasimula? Where is the revival? Where is the reformation? We cannot give thanksgiving and praise and honor and glory if we have not really accepted that we love the Lord is our strength, our salvation, our song, our Savior. 
So dito, makikita natin, repeated in the book of Psalm. Psalm 119, balik-balik. Revive me according to your word. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Revive me according to your word. Psalm 119, verses 25, 107, and verses 154. That's revival. When we revive, then we can celebrate because we are revived. When we are not revived, no celebration. Because you are dead. Revive me in your way. Revive me in your righteousness. Revive me according to your loving kindness. Revive me according to your judgment. These are the elements of true revival. Psalm 119 verses 40, 88, 156. Will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Psalm 65, 6. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. Psalm 19.7 Ito ang tunay na dahilan na dapat tayong mag-celebrate. Because we are revived by His word. We are revived by His righteousness. We are revived by His loving kindness. We are revived in His judgment. We are revived because we keep and rejoicing, keeping His law. Rather than counting months in which we have done nothing. That is really commendable before God. No strong believer without revival and reformation of spiritual life. Pag tinitang niyo mo yung picture na ito, kinukuha ko ito eh. Because there is a message. Everything in your life is reflection of a choice you have made. If you want a different result, make a different choices. As a Christian, pag tayo naman ay nagsisilbi ng ating, naglilingkod sa ating Panginoon, hindi yung maintenance. Something deeper inside. Kasi, pag tinitingnan mo sa church, maniwala kayo sa hindi. Sa ating church, dalawang klase mga membro. The wise and the foolish virgins. At maalam lang natin yan in the time of crisis. Tulad ngayon. Yung iba, sanay na, ayaw nang pumunta sa church. Kasi maganda sa bahay, nakikinig, may tulog pa. Oh. Yan ang problema. So we need to understand how revive first. If the church is not growing, it means it's just exists for maintenance. Areas where life of church must grow. Ito ang mga bahagi ng iglesia na dapat ay sila ay lumago. Una, they grow in grace, they grow in faith, they grow in giving, they grow in sharing, they do grow in service, in winning soul for God's kingdom. This lifestyle of church are the surest indication of a sure and saved Christian. Mga kapatid, kumusta kayo? Kumusta ang grasya ng ating Panginoon? His grace. Are you growing in His grace? His faith. Faith in Him. Your giving. Your sharing. Your service. This is what we need. Kaya pag tinitingnan ninyo itong cycle, the foundation is that when there is grow, we love, we serve, we give, we share, we grow. For the last 19 years, have you planted a church? How many baptism has been done? And how many of those baptized remain? And those who have lost, have you recovered them? It calls for a celebration. Let us make that our celebration of our local church is significant rather than a repetition because the year has passed. 
Members are so busy. Members are diligent. Are helping in building the kingdom of God. Let us help as church members. Because we need. We need to grow in Christ. Grace, faith, giving, sharing, and living by spirit. Paul described the reason. Now, may God of the patient and comfort grant you to be like-minded towards one another. According to Christ Jesus, that you may be one mind, one mouth to glorify God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's our work. To glorify with one mind and one mouth to glorify God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ by doing His will, His plan, and purpose of creating a local church like Prisno. That's why Paul says, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. Therefore, glorify God in your body. In this time of pandemic, let us not forget to share and serve. Let us serve with gladness with our hearts. In this time of crisis, murmuring, blaming has no place. It should be to glorify, magnify, to exalt, to exalt the name of the Lord. Kung siya ang pangalan niya ay palagi nating naitaas, hindi tayo tataas sa ating sarili. Kailangan tayong maglingkod at makibahagi sa iba. Kasi yan ang indikasyon ng isang iglesia na lumalago. Kumusta ang ating giving? Regardless of your financial status, give and share. It is the essence of Christianity. Dito sa picture na ito, makita nyo. Private job, nako. Ang trabaho, malaki. Ang salary, napakaliit. Kung sa government ka naman, ang trabaho, maliit. Pero ang salary, napakalaki. Anyway, whether you are in private or ill in the government, share. Because that's the indication of growth. That's the indication of self-people. Yan ang indikasyon na nga kayo ay katuyo, katulong sa ah, pag Gawa, building God's kingdom here on earth. Ang totoo niyan, pag tinitingnan niyo itong larawan na ito, living strong Christian can grow even in crisis. Parang wala na. But look, nature. Nature has a lot to tell us. According to Job, sa ating lesson, kung nakita niyo yan, Job 7, verses uh, uh, 11 to 12 mentioned. Nature is our teacher. You ask the beast, it will tell you. Ask the fish, it will declare you. Ask the earth, it will teach you. Nature is the best teacher. Kasi yung mga teacher, minsan hindi tayo nakikinig, hindi tayo naniniwala. So a person can grow, wants to grow, will always find their way. Strong people of God. Blessed is the man who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, or stand in the path of the sinners, nor sits in the seats of scornful. But his delight is the law of the Lord. He makes the law the meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in season, whose leaves shall not wither. Whatever he does, he shall prosper. Tayo ba ng mga mimgo, ng mga fresco church? What we does always prosper? Kaya may tanong ako. It's member of this church. Are you an asset or liability? In the past, in the present, and in the future, you are an asset or liability in the church. Our answer is our final destiny. If you are a member, kung ikaw ay membro ng iglesia ng ito, and you think you are not an asset, change mind, become an asset, because liability has no hope. 
trees are symbolizing God's people, the living church. God's people are symbolized by the following strong tree. Kasi ang kanyo is really strong 19. Pampalakas. Ang ating panampalataya. Sabi dito sa Psalm 92. This is Psalm of the Sabbath. 92 verse 10, 12 to 14. Mention three trees. Olive tree, palm tree, cedar tree. Pagkatapos sabi sa verse 12, Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of God. They shall bear fruits in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing. Wow! 19 years of existence. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of God. They shall bear fruits even their old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing even their old. Kumusta na kaya? You know, before I, this afternoon, I read section from Ellen White. Writing about sa mga matanda na. Let us honor sa mga matanda but continue sa kanyong mga gawain because it's better to die hardworking rather than we just watch and observe what is happening. May tatlo akong halimbawa. Para kayo'y matatag, para tayo ay lalago. Una, olive tree. Olive tree ay isang kahoy na kahit Two years walang ulan ay nabubuhay. Gaano man ang weather, it lives 2,000 years, still produce. Itong picture ito, kuha ito sa Gethsemane. Jesus was 2,000 years and still alive, bearing fruit. This tree is a symbol of economic, religious value. Yung sa sanctuary, alam nyo ba yung cherubim? Ang ginagawa doon is ito, olive tree. It's a good for furniture. They thrive in a harsh environment. Kumusta tayo? Pangalawa, palm tree. The best palm tree in the world is found in Jericho. Jericho means the city of palms. It's a desert, but yet, you cannot believe the best palm in the world is found in Jericho, in the desert of part of Judea. Ang palm tree will be productive even 100 years. Three to five tons of oil survive in all harsh weather conditions. Parang pariha sa olive. Olive tree. And God chooses this one as a symbol of His people. Ito ang ilustrasyon niya. Sana ganito ang bayan ng Panginoon. Olive can live 2,000 years. Palm tree, more than 100 years. Still survive. Refresh, refreshing, giving fruits in due season. Harsh environment, they survive. That's what we need. Quality of faith in this time of the end of our world. Then cedar tree, the tallest tree, the giant, the king tree of the world, found a lot in Mediterranean Sea, especially we you find there. Typhoons, bagyo hung in Mediterranean Sea, sinubukan ito, stood still. Sila ang ginagawang barko nung kinauna-unang pang mga panahon. Strong, like iron, because... Kasi ang dahilan, ipalagi silang tested. Winds and typhoon from Mediterranean found in Lebanon. This tree is a symbol of God's people. Ang tanong, are you an olive? Sidar? Palm trees? Christians? Then you are strong amidst crisis in this pandemic. So the past 19 years, Look back how the Lord 
has guided your church. And from this year on, look in the future how God will guide this little church so that you can fulfill the praise and honor and glory. And every year you must celebrate a celebration of anniversary because of God's goodness, God's mercy, God's grace, and His wisdom in helping each of the church member na lumalago hanggang sa kanyang pagbalik. May the Lord bless us as we contemplate. Congratulations. On your 19th anniversary, look backward and look forward. Put everything in the hands of God. And by doing so, you fulfill His will, His plan, and purpose. Congratulations. Happy 19th anniversary. God bless you all. Thank you.